Hello guys, this is Ruby Ray Dragon 3 Please like, comment, subscribe, and ring that doorbell down below. And further ado, sit back and relax and enjoy this video of me playing some days to die once again. Um Right now I am just running around and just trying to farm with resources right now. Uh I'm a level 48, I have 27 deaths, the last time I have played, here's all of my skills that I have been leveling up my skills completely, and then my map, so obviously I went all over the map so far and checking it out, um, I have run into some of the dead zones that you have to see on my map, here is my little two icons where my house is and my garage um, I farm supplies by on cars, cash registers, safes um, trash piles, cardboard boxes, tree stones, supply jobs, dead bodies or um, a lot of other sorts of stuff that I supply uh, that I farm on, but those are the mainly ones I farm on the most. Mainly, I farm on the supply drops the most. Um, I have two mini bikes. I'm gonna be making two bicycles along inside my garage. I have two storages. I have a small one and a big one. I'm working on. I have one house, one food source, one water source, one garage. And then I'm going to be making four towers and adding some more um, defense walls, iron walls, iron spike logs, wood spikes. Um, I'm going to be making barbed wires, including barbed wire fences and a wall, a water fence line going all the way around my entire base prevent zombies from jumping over and digging under my base um, I had upgraded my house with barbed wire fence, iron walls, iron log spikes, metal doors, water fence, wood spikes and um, eventually once I get the chance I'll probably be adding some gun turrets around and clean my towers all the way around my base that's so I prevent a bigger standoff for the horde so where I am looking at um, right now I have two bases I have my main small base um, and then my second base is all the way straight down here where this little building is I have worked on a little bit of it by adding some decoration and some storage stuff now I'm going to go all the way up here again. So right now I'm going by the supply jobs where I found four. I was one one up here on the mountain where I'm at. And then I'm going to go all the way to these three supply jobs and grabbing them and recycling out my base. I want all of my chests to be stocked up on the, the max limit of all of, of the items. That's all I'm completely stocked up in full. And right now, I am trying to not only go around around and upgrade my base and stocking up all my chesses, um, I'm trying to get items that I need to start upgrading on part of my base, on side of my garage and the back of the house. Because I did the entire front defense complete front of my um, base but I need both of the left and right side and the back of the base finished so that's what I'm going to be working on um, right now I'm just going to go with the old fashioned way of me running around and using the stone axe to break down rocks or anything that I will look for that's specifically iron um, I mainly um, go for rocks the most by stocking up as many of these raw irons that I'm going to be collecting. And this is my inventory. I have stocked uh, stocked up on a little bit of things. I'm still going to be collecting some plants and books on certain items that I'll be collecting by adding them as an our chest. I'm going to be working on that I haven't had. Um, that's what I'm planning on doing right now. So... After I break is probably a lot of rocks from restocking up on iron since I need a lot of iron and wood. Those are the main two 
materials I'll be using on my base. Obviously, I like iron, so I kind of build my entire base with iron. Um, so, you just have to bear with me, guys, on this one. You know, this might take me a little while, but this will work. And then once I get done roaming around, collecting resources and supplies that I needed, and then come back and restock up all my cabinets and chests inside my um, bottom floor. Um, I did work a little bit inside my base of me rearranging all of my stuff. I kind of destroyed my second... Uh, my top second floor with all of my chests. I destroyed those and removed all of the decorations inside by removing them and destroying them. And then I kept the chests and the cabinets and the forges. Um, I had stocked up on log candles from the top floor and placing them on the bottom floor since I mainly use the bottom floor the most. Um, I might just leave my top floor as an empty spot that I might need for something later, so that's what I'm going to be keeping. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing for the past couple times. Um, I already have found the treasure spot, but it's like inside the road, middle of the road, all the way across the map, so um, I'm going to be doing that last. Um, there's a lot of resources on how to farm on different ways from different items that you could go running around that's common to rare items versus really hard items that you can't really get or find that well. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing. Obviously, I'm going to be running around collecting stuff and mining stuff at the same time. Uh, when I get the chance, I'll be adding some more decorations like bookshelves for the plants and books, um, the coolers for drinks and food. So, obviously, I'm going to be adding quite a bit of decorations to make it more a little realistic than using the chesses. Um, I might do that or I might change my ideas a little later. Um,. And this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be mining and collecting at the same time. Good so far. Um, what's back here? Nothing. There was a body there, but it never spawned, so... Grab those. Uh... It's good that I'm running around out here, middle of the night of the horde. Um, I am sitting at day 133. That's my highest so far. I want to see how far I could go. Um, obviously, I am on peaceful. I am not on... Um, obviously I have the zombies turned off. The reason why is because I want to stock up and max out everything. That's how I can be prepared for the hordes that I'm going to be getting. The bigger the hordes you get, the stronger they are. Um, some zombies you got to watch out for on... Like, the lumberjacks are the big guys, then you got the toxic ones, and then you got the screamers. Uh, obviously, you kind of have to, like, go which zombies uh, they'll get attracted by your base. Like, the screamers, they get attracted by light. The more light in your base, the more uh, the screamers you will have, and the more that they'll just keep spawning in more zombies. Lumberjacks are the most difficult ones to kill versus the toxic ones you gotta watch out for. Uh, especially when they run in big hordes that you have to watch out for. Um, lumberjacks, I'll probably say use a certain gun as your advantage. And they probably have like a, a melee weapon with you, to be honest, because if you... If you don't have like enough uh, ammo for a specific gun that you just got or that you already had, it's best to have a backup spare 
or carry a melee just a backup if your gun runs out of ammo or either your gun breaks um, it's best to wear or some strong armor and some type of strong gun to carry and some tools um, hordes you gotta watch out for the bigger the horde the stronger it is so uh, you want to constantly keep upgrading your base so it's completely maxed out on the items and materials and to make your base a lot stronger um, that's exactly what I'm doing I want my base completely upgraded all the way through until it hits the strongest point um, obviously I want to max out everything all my skills and stuff like that um, I want to um, max out all my items that I'll be collecting by stocking up all my chests that I have in my small storage and obviously my big storage I just started on so I probably won't go for my big storage yet until my entire base is completely upgraded um, not only if I run out of room in my small storage, I could start adding more stuff into my big storage. I just have to reorganize all of my stuff that I have in my cabinets and my two chests inside my base. So that would take me a little bit just to go through each of single of my chest to go through of what I have and what am I comparing it with. Um so I will make double trips back and forth uh, the reason why I don't take my mini bikes unless if it's required on certain requests on if I know a Pacific era that has really good goodies like the weapons for example or the tools I know of um, obviously I will be using my mini bikes only for that to a Pacific really good goodies in a Pacific area and same thing with my bicycles. Obviously, I will be making a making a car. Obviously, besides the mini bikes and bicycles, I already added some storage inside my um, garage. Uh, obviously, it has my mini bikes. I'm gonna be adding my bicycles in it, and it already has storage. Um. I already have my forges, my cabinets, and my chest is inside my bottom floor inside my base. I have my small storage stocked up with food, drinks, weapons, ammo, tools, clothes, uh, crafting materials, med stuff, that typical thing. And then I already have my food garden set up. And then I have my water source set up. I haven't filled it up yet. So that's what I'm probably going to do. Is fill up my water source and my food source. Once that's done. Um, I probably will do a wood farm. Simply is because I have no trees near me by my base. So I have to run across the map to just get wood. So I'll, I'll be um, doing a wood farm next. Since I already did my water source and my food source started, I just need to uh, start planting and uh, filling up my water source. Um, obviously, I will be making trips back and forth because obviously the supplies I'm getting in certain areas I already discovered that I already know. Um, they're not really that important for me to stock up in my mini bike. Um, that and I'm trying to save gas since I use my auger 24-7 um, I just need enough gas between my mini bikes and my auger to balance it out back and forth um, I used to go for the higher numbers on certain things that's the stronger the better it is like weapons and clothes for example the higher the better the clothes will the clothes and the weapons will last longer um, usually when I collect lower ones if it's a specific item that I don't have I keep it until I find a higher one then I'll re scrap that one and place the good ones in there that's always how I've been doing it back and forth um, right now I'm trying to stock up on iron and wood since I will be need needing a lot of wood and iron since both of them since the iron goes as a max limit as 7,000 I think it's 7,000 
or 70,000, it's either one of those two. And then, same thing with the what. Um, now I'm just going to go back and forth. Right now it's not too hectic. I can still run around and still click on some items that I could still stock up on. Oh, look at that. Let's see here. We don't need the candy. We don't need that helmet. We'll keep the goggles. And we don't need... We don't need glass pane, so we're good. Okay, good. Now, the reason why I dropped two things uh, is because those I don't really typically need. Oh, no. Um... Okay, good. I had my sweater on, the one that I just got. Um, I don't know what was that lag. Um, we're just going to keep going. Hopefully, I don't get cold from this. Uh, it's been a little while since I played Some Days to Die. Uh, I'll be needing a banana, gloves, and leg armors. But I pretty much got all of my clothes on besides those I'm missing on my characters so that's pretty good but decent so let's just keep mining and go slow with this because I don't want to freeze to death um the reason why I have 27 deaths is because I have been stepping on those landmines 24 7 and since they're kind of hard to see since they're very small and like this bluish color that blends in with the grass or the ground so it's kind of hard to tell where it is that's the most every time i walk and crouch versus me uh running uh usually when i run i make sure the area is clear first before i run like that or else you're, I'm asking for death for that. Um, so just play it safe when you're uh, running around with landmines. By some buildings and some areas that have some landmines inside, like the military bases, um, that you gotta watch out for. Sometimes in the desert, sometimes in the ash biome, and sometimes in the forgot the name of the biome the this here I'm circling on this big building here where the, most of the iron bars are those are usually always carried with a lot of landmines so you gotta be careful when you take a step or either when you run uh, my good advice is don't run but crouch and look in that area first when you walk to make sure it's clear and then run. Um, best tools to run on you is a wrench, a flashlight, a stone axe, a sledgehammer, and some type of weapon for you to go out hunting like a gun and some ammo. Uh, I probably require the mini pistol since they're easy to run around and shoot at the same time and better aiming with it compared towards bows it's best if you run either the little pistols or either the hunting rifles those are the only two best guns um wrenches sledgehammers uh, a flashlight or a helmet flashlight a pickaxe, a shovel, a stone axe are always required on you. The most is because uh, you need those specific tools for specific items to mine, like the auger moves, mainly. Um, and the chainsaw for the trees, obviously. So those are the main uh, tools you want to carry on you that I just mentioned. Um... 
Now for the hunting, I usually carry the hunting rifle, but I usually use for the mini pistol the most. Um, I still need to make a chemistry bench and another thing along with it. I forgot what it was, but I'll check what it is. Um, obviously the mixer, the stone mixer, I need to add that in my base. And then um, the crafting table, the workbench, I mean. Uh, so it's the chemistry, the workbench, the mixture that I'll be needing to add in my basin. It's those three I don't have quite yet still. Um, for multiple reasons, for most of the items that you'll need to be upgrading or crafting inside the workbench and making uh, meds inside the chemistry bench. Um, obviously I use the pistol. What's the nine million? Yeah, the my, the nine millimeter rounds. I use those a lot, so I'm trying to uh, stock up on those because I have the materials to make them, but I don't have the workbench in my main base. Um, it'll be great if I could start crafting some in my main base versus me running to my second base. Uh, the reason why is I have a sec base is my backup base if my main base doesn't. Uh, have room inside it or either it didn't stand long enough for the horde I have a second one right now I have it on the zombies office because I not only want to stock up with everything by every item that I collect and find or discover around the place but I want to make sure that oh I'm right by them so I might as well run to them I don't want to go in the dead zone. So we should be good by hopping on these mountain hills. Just carefully don't fall. Um, my best bet is to always carry meds on you also if you break a leg or either your stamina is too slow and not regenerating or either re... Oh. Or either your health is too low, always carry those on you at all times. Uh, oh god, um, don't fall please. Okay good, we made it safe. Oh god, okay. Um, gunpowder and coal don't need. Scrap you and scrap you. So that's one. So it looks like they're gonna the supply drops are gonna be spread away from each other. Oh, I found one. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Ah. Oh. oh no, no, not the backpack. No. Oh, where did it go? Are you in the tree? Yep, it is. It's in the tree. Um, I'm gonna be carefully not breaking the backpack. Please be there. Okay, good. Um... We'll be eating these. Grab. Uh, um. This is an issue. Want to be careful drinking those. So that's a, I don't. Oh no. Okay, the backpack despawned. And I found an arrow one. I noticed that the supply drops land in some areas. Mm. Scrap, 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 scrap. Aha! No, 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 no. 
bad bad pack bad good bad pack good um, now I have to wait for these to get done I'm gonna drop that we're gonna collect those now we're just gonna sit here and wait for these I will scrap these nails to be honest since I don't really need them you know I'm low on them but I'm still going to collect a lot of items at yeah this flashlight I have higher up one so I'm just gonna get rid of this flashlight and the nails to make room we're just gonna sit here and wait until all of the ah uh, no it despawned ah uh -huh. I need those plant hands those beautiful plants they got ruined okay so new new uh, advice is that when you like what I just did just now don't do it or else the backpack despawn I forgot that they don't despawn in some amount of uh, seconds scrap 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 those okay we got exactly what we needed um we're gonna grab those we're gonna uh, fill up those real quick we're gonna head back to our base real quick since we're running out of room so we're gonna run back since our base is not that far actually so if I just keep going in a diagonal from right over here where the supply jobs were at that I just picked up then I could just keep going in that direction until I fill up all of my uh, chests um, eventually when I get done collecting and mining things then I, oh god there we go oh Today is not my day. Yeah, so this spot right here that I am like pointing at with my fist here. Um that carries landmines in front and side of the base. So those you wanna be careful of. That's the the book store. So that is that you right? in front of my base just straight so I noticed that I find a lot of deers and pigs the most but I don't really find bears to begin with I only found two bears and killed them but I don't really find that much bears in this game usually bears in here usually spawns in this type of forest and I don't understand why they don't spawn like either this game's on crack or either this game just doesn't like me because I'm good at this game um, so we're just gonna run well technically speed walk because we broke a bone so we want I almost thought that was a bear up front of me I was like hey wait a minute um, we're just gonna like speed walk towards our base since our base is like literally right there. Um, um my base should be up by this hill, to be honest. Um, Okay, we made it. Now we're just going to shove all of our items inside our chests, or I should say our junk chests and cabinets right now. Um, 
after that, I will show you guys what my base looks like again since it's been a little while. Um, if I can run, uh, like, there we go. So now we're just gonna stock, uh, everything in here since we don't need them. It's good to stock up on guns because I noticed that guns in here are quite hard to find in Pacific areas. Especially I am trying so hard to get the uh, t the gun turret plant so badly because I really want to start all my gun towers but I don't have those yet so I really want those. So as I said I rechanged my bottom floor so I kind of grab all my candles and remove them. Um, also, I'm going to add more light on the bottom floor. Here are one of my cabinets filled with a bunch of junk. Obviously, I'm going to reorganize everything later. So, that's two. And then here's all my chests. Here's a, a lot more junk in here. For that one. And this one. Obviously, I just found the sniper rifle. Those are good to use. Um, here are my two forges still, and my campfire, my bed, and my little marking here. Obviously, this leads up on my top floor. Um, I'm gonna destroy these chests real quick because I don't need these anymore, especially in this basement. I already have two. Uh, storage is at my small one and then my big one at first I had my second one looked like a big one to me but then when I moved my second storage in the back of my base where I'm gonna add defense walls around it um, that was twice the size as the big storage than my small one for my first one so say goodbye bye for this storage in here so I might use this as, as a night room for something that I will be saving a little later. Um, I will reorganize all of my chests with each of my items by socking everything up. Uh, that's why I have everything and my base is upgraded to the point it's at a really strong standoff for my defense walls, but I will be needing some offense. Probably adding some wood spikes so it's scattered all the way up front. That's like not a close to my base. And probably um, add some gun turrets above my base all the way around. And from. I'll show you. So, where my base looks. So, I will be adding some gun turrets all the way around my base from this side to the front, the back, and from the left and right side and the f front and the back of my base all the way around and I'll add a bunch of more gun turrets all the way around inside my base in this one and then I'm gonna add some more gun turrets on top of my storage here and inside my um, storage base uh, one thing I kind of noticed the way how I did, it, did that is I didn't put the doors in the middle here is simply because uh, my mini bikes the reason why I did that is because I want my mini bikes somewhere safe that so they don't get broken um, obviously the in here will be like a bad no-no to have I might look up some different ideas to block this off but that's the only entrance I have for my garage Obviously, uh, you guys could see I have started up on the front of my base with my defense walls, as I was talking about, and then the sides I started on a little bit. And then here's my big storage. So it's simply like like a rectangle, like shaped like an L, but this is a lot more chesses. Um, Obviously, I'm going to have to add more defense walls like I'm doing in the back and side here. Uh, that's going to take a bit for me to do. So, we're going to make some more. 
wood spikes and then iron log spikes so I use iron walls for my first step and then I use the barbed wire fences in the middle as my second step and then my third step I make iron walls again for my third and then my fourth I'll add some more barbed wire fences and then I'll add my scrap iron logs spikes in front of my uh, last step like I did up front as a repeat so I'm gonna repeat the front like I did on the sides and the back um, that won't take me long to do with the wood spikes and the log spikes for the iron but the walls will take me longer because well it's walls so let's grab these real quick now this is gonna be a little bit harder because I'll have to jump oh I got that one and that one okay good now at the angle I'm trying to get it into place them down okay got that started so it looks like this back is gonna be finished compared towards my garage that I'm saving last uh, the reason why is because I screwed up on a little bit of my defense walls up from my garage until I found a way on making this empty splat spot of the back of the back inside of my garage and turn it into a nice storage unit. So with we're gonna, we're gonna see how that works. Um, obviously the first time I did the front looked great, but then when I started moving on to this side, when I connected it with my big base, I should have done it, not separate, but it's okay. Um, the, this will take me a little bit longer with the garage, but if I do this main base first, I will be done since I already did the front completely the way I want it. Uh, all I have to worry about is the back for this one and the side, and I'll be completely done with this part. And then I'll move on to the garage after I'm done with this because this is my main big piece that I started out with that has more of my main stuff in this one than it has for my garage. Um, so this is going to turn out really good. Afterwards, I'm done with this. I'll make a repeat of this onto my second base over here somewhere by connecting it, adding, probably making like a little city base going on. You know, it will take me a little longer, but I really want to do that, so... Uh, I have all my mini bikes and my uh, chest is locked including my doors because I don't trust randoms and I don't trust uh, my friends either they steal or they don't ask permission on what it is uh, some friends I do know doesn't do that compared to a few friends that I know of um, so as you guys can see, you can see the middle of the base where I have my iron walls first, my wood spikes on top, my barbed wire fences, and then more barbed wire fences in front of my iron walls, and then my iron scrap log spike. So that's just going to be as a repeat of the front to the back and the side of the space. Uh... still have to upgrade a little bit on my base in some areas on it but not as too much on it um we did good on wood we'll be needing some more wood and iron uh it would have been a lot easier if I had repair kits but I don't and I don't have some of the materials I have some materials for it but the rest of it I need to make but I don't have it because I ran out last time that I played on this save file 
Um, right now, this is like my test save file. Is me going around collecting everything and upgrading everything, and me to test if it's strong enough to stand against a really big horde or to test it if it's too weak that I need to find a way to upgrade it a little bit more that's a cool thing I will go on and off by switching on and off with my options to turn the zombies on and turn them back off it's gonna be like a simple little test of me seeing how long and how my base will last against a really big horde um, so that's my main goal. Um, just tell me guys what you think or like about my base. If you guys like the way how I designed it and the way how it's looking or the way how I have it, like, clean and organized and well, defense for it. Um, tell me what you guys think or like about it in the comments section. Um, Obviously, I'll keep you guys updated as long as period of time since, like, I'm since this whole COVID 19 thing kind of screwed everybody now. So it's kind of hard to uh, do things when you're beyond bored and there's nothing to do besides being stuck in home and me being in school at the same time. So it kind of makes it a little harder on me trying to stream for you guys, but I'll do the best for myself and for you guys to keep you guys entertained um obviously i'll do the best i can to keep uploading videos i had upload two videos of me doing an apex and a titanfall 2 video um hopefully you guys like and enjoy those videos um Right now, I am very proud on how far my channel has went. Thank you guys for the 20 subscribers. You know, I'm trying to hit to 30 subscribers. If you guys could please make that happen, I'll give you guys a big bonus video. Or at least posting two big bonus videos in one day. Um, I'll see if you guys can make that happen. Um, let's see on how far I could go with this channel um, obviously I'll probably be adding two more channels two or three more channels I'll see how it works out for me I'm thinking on making uh, art channels since I do art a lot um, obviously this channel is for gaming only so I'm gonna keep my videos separate from my gaming videos versus me doing my art videos um, I will be making two channels, um, probably three, I don't know, but I'm probably just going to stick with two. Uh, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated on everything, on me, on certain games and tutorials for you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video on me, like, exploring and building a little bit. And we talk about some farming tips and tricks for you guys. Um... So just please like, comment, and subscribe. And have